Hi, Bragg here from C4G. Before we start the video, we've been seeing a little bit of growth, but 73% of you still aren't subscribed. If you like what you see and want weekly podcasts, deck profiles, and more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Cheers. Hey guys, Lachlan here from Cowboy for Gamer. Today I'm joined by Jake from also Cowboy for Gamer. <laughs> and he's going to be going through... Uh... Oh, his favourite deck, Mech Knight oh, Orchest. Uh... <laughs> uh, so this is just a quick update to the um, deck. I've changed a couple little things. Um, it seems to be performing better, but like it's a work in progress as most things are. Um, so this is the deck as it stands. So we have the three purple the two blue and the one indigo that hasn't changed um adding more mac knights just seems like a problem now um so it'll probably stay at that lineup forever uh similar with the three gisu if i could add more i would card is good um that's pretty much like a one card combo um as most orcas cards are to be fair um then we've got uh three nightmare um without the harp you need to play three because you need to see every possible way to her I've uh, got... It's a chick? Yeah. What? Yeah, because it's Galatea possessed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, God, law, bro. Watch the law. Um, oh. Then we've got uh, two party skeleton. Um, I would bump it up to three. At the moment, I can't justify it. Like, in theory, I could take this brass bombard and make it a symbol skeleton. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's something to test for later. Like, Brass is usually one of the first side-out cards, so I wouldn't be that heartbroken if it became a symbol instead. It's pretty good, though. Like it, com summoning, it, uh... it comes up every so often. Like, yeah. it's not brilliant, Some but it's not terrible. Hand. Well, in theory, that's a one card as well. If I, could, if I open that and just one other Nightmare, I can make that into something and then use its effect. So, yeah, like, there's situations where it'll come up, but, yeah, not a great card overall. Uh, then we've got Two Wand. Um... I've seen some of this play three. I prefer two. Opening one and being able to send the other is just busted. Just free monsters for days. Uh, then we've got uh, the Gizmek staple in the deck. Um, yeah. The amount of times I've forgotten to activate his effect is dumb. Um, and the Armageddon Knight. Yep. Um, I did cut the um, Dark Refer from the list. Just wasn't coming up. I wasn't opening enough Dark Monster to justify running it anymore. Yeah. Uh, and three scrap recyclers. Uh, so that's it for the actual summon all the monsters. Uh, we do. Some have... people don't get that about scrap recycler. You just don't have to run the fridge. You can just. It's it's, yeah. a, it's an excellent starter without the fridge. As exactly. Well. I found that the fridge was more of a brick. Like you'd prefer to open up any almost any other card than fridge. That's why you run two. Or or zero. No nah, two. Those those are the numbers. Three. Two or zero. <laughs> yeah, it's two or um, zero. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying out zero. Seems to work. <laughs> um, then we have... I'm going to put that one at the back because it's. I'm missing a secret. Uh, three Ash Blossom. Um, Stop. What's no, this? No. Okay. So I'm pretty sure someone stole it and sold it back to the store. Oh, yeah. Because there's one secret Ash Blossom in there and I'm missing one secret Ash Blossom. There's two now. There's two? Oh, good. Okay, I've still got two mine. Okay. <laughs> if anyone else is missing a secret Ash Blossom, so, that's where it is. two forehead, one feet. <laughs> no, no, it's still the it's still the proper one. Oh, it's yeah. It's just not secret. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I put in two Ghost Mortars, um, yep. just for, like, not that Orcas need it, but for a bit more off-turn interaction. Um, oh, yeah. Orcas, <laughs> not much off-turn interaction there. <laughs> Um, then we move on to Spells and Traps, so I've got two return, some lists are running three, I think that's too many, um, cause there are hands where just seeing two of them is awful, so I can only imagine how bad opening three would be. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclones, I uh, found that the deck didn't have enough main deck spell and trap removal, so yeah. I felt that that was necessary. Um, uh, then we've got some one ofs we've got Monster Reborn, uh, Foolish Burial, uh, World Legacy Succession for the Lib combo. Uh, Babel for doing Orcus plays. And I saved this one for last because it's pretty. Reinforcements to the army. Ooh. That looks really good on camera. Look at this, man. It looks real bendy. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, like a darker lad. You've got to yeah. be very careful with that, otherwise it'll bend. I'm, at the moment, just playing it at locals. So, well, for the foreseeable future, just playing it at locals. Uh, and then traps, we've got uh, three Imperm and Crescendo. Of course. 
Uh, then we move on to extra decks. So this is something that changes all the time and I forgot to order it before we started. So apologies, <laughs> I'm gonna just take a minute. Um, so we'll start with a couple of Link 1s. So I've got uh, Link Karibo in there. That's for the uh, Brass Bombard and for the uh, Gisu combo. Yep. Because uh, he summons the token, you make that into Link Karibo. So that's up uh, zones for the Mech Knights. Uh, and I'm running Almirage. Yeah. Uh, so this is so that I can set up zones off of the Scrap Recycler. Yeah. Um, there have been instances where I've been able to trigger him multiple times as well, where I've opened up either the Succession or the Monster Reborn. So use its effect, send it to Grave, bring it back, do it again. Um, so it just extends that a little bit further. Uh, then we've got uh, Link 2. So we've got Nightmare Phoenix, uh, the Barricade Borg Blocker. Uh, we've got the IP Mascarena. Yep. Uh, so they're all pretty standard ones, uh, as well as the three Galateas. Of course. So I picked up the Altis tonight, very happy about that. Um, and then one of the newer ones to the combo, you might have seen in the last video if you uh, are regular on the channel. Like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, Lib, the World Legacy Keymaster. Yeah. Uh, so with her, you're able to... That's a her? <laughs> 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 um, so with her, you're able to do a couple things, um, getting the succession from deck, being able to spin something back to the deck without targeting, and with her setting of a card, you're able to set up zones for mech knights as well, so mm -hmm. she does quite a lot for the deck. The only problem is you need a world legacy engrave, which um, I have like fallen into the trap of setting that instead of an orcist and then not being able to play. So yeah. just be careful about you get what you do and like when. The, the gear suit and you're like, Ugh. yeah, that that happens sometimes. Yeah, and then you're stuck on a gear suit. This is gonna get an ulti one day. That I know it. Yeah, oh, God, I it's hope so. Happen. It's such a pretty card. It deserves it. Um, that's it for the link twos. I mean, the uh, chick looks twelve, so <laughs> it's getting an ulti. Yeah, I just reported both of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FBI, open up. Um, then we've got. Konami doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Konami. Uh, Link 3s, we've got okay. Nightmare and uh, Longisu, so that's obviously um, a staple for most decks. Is that decks. a chick? Which one? Longisu or Unicorn? Longisu. No, it's very much a man. Very much a dude. Are you sure? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> oh, Stop. Um, so, it's yeah. fucking not the focus so bad. <laughs> uh, Link 4s, we've got Boral Sword and we've got Appalooza. So I've thought about this a few times of maybe making that a um, access code, but I feel like the deck doesn't run enough varied links to get value yeah. off it, so Borosaur would have to do for now. You run the big polar bear? I do. I run the big bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. It's not the bow and arrow. <laughs> it's the bow and arrow. It's 100% oh, the bow and arrow. Focus. Bow of the goddess. Um, and then lastly, we have the two dings. Of course. The only way the deck really does anything, so must have. Um, and sides are arbitrary, so not going into size tonight. Um, so yeah, deck's still a work in progress. It'll probably change again if and when we get prop tournaments back. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the update to Mech Knight August. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>